The following is an Investor Brand Network audio production via our audio press release solutions. As a multifaceted financial news and publishing company, Investor Brands Network utilizes its network of more than 5,000 distribution partners as well as other corporate communication tools to introduce public and private companies to a wide audience of investors, consumers, journalists, and the general public. Investor Brand Network's platform connects the investment community with companies that have great potential and a strong dedication to building shareholder value. The following audio press release may feature a client partner of Investor Brand Network. Investor Brand Network may have been compensated for the production of this audio production. Please be sure to read our entire disclaimer for full disclosure. Network Newswire presents Digitization Reshaped E-Commerce First, Now Moving to Online Gaming. The early days of e-commerce can be traced back decades, sluggish until the 2000s, then accelerating rapidly over the last 10-plus years. Online gaming is on a similar trajectory. Analogous to what Amazon and Alibaba did for e-commerce, online gaming has deep roots that go back decades and now has entered a growth stage that many believe will chart like a hockey stick. There are different approaches to capitalizing on what appears to be parabolic growth across the industry. More merchants than miners become millionaires during the California gold rush, and servicing the companies that provide consumer gaming just might be one of the best ways to cash a ticket. Playgon Games Incorporated, OTCQB, ticker symbol PLGNF, a software-as-a-service technology company, is laser-focused on that business-to-business market, developing and licensing unique digital content for the iGaming market. Other companies jockeying for the end user, curating gaming and gambling services for consumers include Bally's Corporation, B-A-L-Y on New York Stock Exchange, DraftKings Incorporated, D-K-N-G on NASDAQ, Golden Nugget Online Gaming Incorporated, G-N-O-G on NASDAQ, and Penn National Gaming Incorporated, P-E-N-N on NASDAQ. According to Grandview Research, global revenue in iGaming will grow at a CAGR of 11.94% from $75 billion in 2021 to reach $127.3 billion by 2027. Playgon is disrupting the $6 billion live dealer casino oligopoly with its mobile-first streaming high-definition platform. The Playgon platform is currently live with 26 operators through four content aggregators in Europe and South Africa, and commitments for more clients are growing. Deal is also in the $20 billion daily fantasy sports market with its B2B platform focused on European football and golf, PGA, and Europe. Big and getting bigger. The online gaming industry, also known as iGaming, is of global scale and currently generates an estimated $75 billion in annual revenue. According to Grandview Research, revenue will grow at a CAGR of 11.94% between 2021 and 2026 to reach $127.3 billion by 2027. The surging growth is undergirded by a number of factors, including the COVID-19 pandemic, technology advancements, increasing and rapidly evolving regulations, and booming consumer demand. Consumer demand is key here as, much like with e-commerce, younger generations don't know a world without iGaming, while older generations are becoming increasingly familiar and comfortable with the convenience of the digitized world. The slow, seminal transition to digital gaming was given a shot of adrenaline in 2020, as businesses were shuttered and people were told to eat, sleep, work, and play from home to prevent the viral spread. Online gaming experienced unprecedented demand and disruption that forever changed the face of the industry with next-generation streaming gaming content as entertainment and a safe social event. Playgon Games Incorporated, OTCQB, ticker symbol PLGNF, is capitalizing on the market growth, developing and delivering digital gaming content that the industry wants and needs. The company employs more than 80 people who provide turnkey products and a multi-tenant gateway that allows online operators the ability to offer their customers innovative iGaming software solutions. Playgon's current software platform includes live dealer casino games, 
e-table games, and daily fantasy sports, which, through a seamless integration at the operator level, allows their customers access without having to share or compromise any sensitive customer data. DEAL Deal, is mobile-focused and uses the latest technology to build and deliver content. As a true B2B digital content provider and outlier in the online gaming marketplace, Playgon has zero customer acquisition costs. The company's current and future customers include online casinos, sportsbook operators, land-based operators, media groups, and big database companies, just to name a few. Live Dealer Action The invention of live dealer games has captivated players worldwide, driving growth in the online casino vertical. This is exemplified by revenue in the nascent live dealer casino market forecast to rise 60% from $5 billion in 2019 to $8 billion in 2023. The live dealer online casino market, which unsurprisingly has a high barrier to entry, is an oligopoly dominated by Evolution Gaming, Playtech, and Microgaming, which offer products that are relatively generic and similar, meaning brands cannot differentiate to stand out from competitors. Playgon is the new kid on the block, upsetting the apple cart with the launch of Live from Las Vegas, a studio of 10 gaming tables that delivers live dealer, high-definition streaming video. The company's platform utilizes state-of-the-art augmented reality betting technology and live dealers for four popular games, Blackjack, Roulette, Baccarat, and its proprietary Tiger Bonus Baccarat. The user interface and user experience are proprietary technology of Playgon that modernizes the old incumbent technology, which was mostly designed for desktop computers, and delivers the most advanced and innovative products to date. Playgon's platform is cloud-based for scalability. Playgon's games are mobile-focused, device-agnostic, and built for portrait mode only, one-handed play. Bridging the barriers to entry, Playgon's platform is already live with multiple online casino operators through four content aggregator clients in South Africa and Europe, with more expected to come on board soon. More broadly, Playgon's products are live with 26 operators currently, with another eight integrating the technology. In addition to its live dealer games, Playgon offers eTable, random number-generated, versions of each game with its own set of unique gaming features and is working on the development of a suite of 25 games, including craps, hold'em poker, and three-card poker, to offer its customers. DFS Daily Fantasy Sports The company also has its hand in the wildly popular market of DFS, or Daily Fantasy Sports, an accelerated variant of traditional, season-long fantasy sports that can be condensed down to a fantasy team for a single game. According to Research and Markets, the global fantasy sports market is expected to grow from $20.36 billion in 2020 to $22.31 billion in 2021. Playgon has developed and offers a world-class B2B mobile-first fantasy sports platform for operators. Built for regulated markets, the initial sports in the platform are European football, Premier League, Bundesliga, League One, Serie A, La Liga, and Golf, PGA European. The platform opens operators to new gaming demographics and full control of the player database or the opportunity and information that is instrumental in growing revenue and widening margins. High Margin Recurring Revenue Unlike B2C companies that must devote significant capital to acquire and retain users, Playgon's business structure doesn't include any user acquisition costs. The company's revenue model includes marketing and licensing fully integrated live casino solutions to iGaming operators worldwide. Revenue is generated through a typical SaaS license fee agreement for the platform. SaaS is a popular business model today because it typically generates high-margin, recurring revenue as the customer pays each term for use and support of the technology. License fees will be due monthly and range from 6% to 12% of gross gaming revenue, player bet minus player win before operating expenses. The exact fee varies depending on the customer and market size. Playgon is led by Darcy Krogh, who is no stranger to either the iGaming industry or B2B operations. 
In 1999, Krogh co-founded TSX-listed Chartwell Technology, which pioneered the development of browser-based digital content for the iGaming market. The company was sold in 2011 to the Stars Group, then called Amaya, where Krogh served post-merger as VP of Business Development. The B2B asset portfolio was sold to NYX Gaming Group in 2016, then subsequently bought by NASDAQ-listed Scientific Games Corporation in 2017. Krogh left the company upon the sale to NYX Gaming Group to found Playgon Games Incorporated, formerly Global Daily Fantasy Sports Incorporated. Krogh is joined in the C-suite by live dealer technology expert Guido Ganshao as CPO. Ganshao has spent 13 years creating real-time live dealer technology and platforms and was the co-founder and creative director for a Macau-based casino consortium. In addition, former Shaw Communications exec Steve Baker is part of the Playgon team, serving as COO. During his time as VP of Operations at Shaw, Baker was integral to growing revenue from $300 million to $2.8 billion and staff from 350 people to 13,000. He also led a number of M&A deals. This audio press release is an original broadcast provided by Investor Brand Network, a multifaceted financial news and publishing company that delivers a new generation of corporate communication solutions, including news aggregation and syndication, social communication, and brand awareness tools, Investor Brand Network may receive payments for the services and solutions provided to its client partners. You should assume that the owners, officers, and directors of Investor Brand Network or financial analysts mentioned in this audio production may hold a position in and may intend to trade the securities on their own accounts. This audio production is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell any securities mentioned in this audio production. The information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be or should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, investment in the featured companies carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the companies thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This audio production by Investor Brand Network is not purported to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from featured companies and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by Investor Brand Network as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. Please see our full disclaimers and disclosures at InvestorBrandNetwork.com.